Hey Scorpio, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your mermaid guidance reading. So I'm going to get started with a Moonology card. Let's see what the moon energy is for Scorpio. Holy Spirit, show us clearly. What is the moon energy for Scorpio? And we got two of them out. Nothing is yet in stone, mutable moon. Okay. And we also got the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like to have both of those come out and nothing will come of this situation. I feel like this is really telling you that um, if you look at the, if you're familiar with this deck, I, I recall the description in the book for this uh, void of course moon is really about consulting the divine and really getting guidance to know which way because things are gaining momentum the energies that everyone is dealing with is starting is just moving very quickly so it's about um recognizing that you need that particular guidance just so that you um are have that confirmation you're on the right path for whatever um comes out in the reading okay we're gonna get a beyond lemuria card Okay. And I did pre-shuffle, but for some reason today I just feel like things are moving so quickly and I keep just feeling the need to shuffle before I pull every time um, I've done any readings today. So, Holy Spirit, show us clearly what we're looking at for Scorpio. Crystal Keys. So this is definitely, this is about triggers. This is about, you know, detours, things that might be detouring you. So I definitely see the need to, um, you know, really, it's, it's okay to ask for help, um, ask for guidance from the divine. And we have at the bottom of the deck, throat chakra, express your truth. So I do feel like there's going to be opportunities for you to express your truth. Um, but let's read what it says in the book about the crystal keys. It's number 22. It's just a, a divine number. And this has been coming out for um, a lot of people lately, a lot of the signs. So it says, be inspired to find the wisdom hidden in those times when you feel triggered. There's so much information within our raw and intense reactions that when you choose to be present with what is coming up, and peel back the layers, great spiritual insight will unveil itself in a way tailored just for you. If we could all learn to see our triggers in the bigger picture, so much confrontation and upset would be lessened, power struggles and fear would diminish, and we would see greater compassion across the planet. Perspective and misunderstanding would shift, and the way people want to be loved would be experienced without distortion. These are the seeds of peace on earth. So I definitely see that there may be something that is quite, you know, triggering for you, but there may be quite a lesson for you to learn about yourself and, you know, um, you know, triggers that could be about finally being able to express your truth. So, um, this is really, um, talking about how you share your spirit, your unique language and Scorpio is known for being extremely deep, um, so let's see, to restore the sh throat chakra, be truthful with yourself about how you are really feeling. If you always act in integrity and follow your heart center truth, some unhealthy connections or aspects of your life may fall away and you will be in complete alignment with your path. In this way, your internal slash psychic navigation system will become strengthened your purpose will be clear and you will inspire others through the sparkle of your deep inner knowing. I definitely see that as in line with the energies that you may be dealing with, Scorpio. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Whispers of the Ocean. What do we have, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio? Yeah, and this energy gain momentum, like I feel rushed all of a sudden, like really rushed. So it's like taking the breath, um, you know, not avoiding confrontation, but being um, mindful, choosing your battles wisely as well. 
definitely getting that. Okay, so we have Rediscover Your Zeal, number 40, and it says, pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. And I do know that um, Scorpio, you're dealing with a lot of fire energy right now. And um, so we also have shedding the old. Okay, I need to take a breath. This is like crazy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like I feel this need to just like zip through it as quickly as possible. But I'm also getting a lot of, you know, um, downloads as I'm doing this reading. Like take a breath. There's a lot that you're navigating through and it's not about catching every detail, but it's about, you know, your awareness of what's happening around you. So we have number 38, shedding the old. There's a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects. Beautiful. All right, slow it down, slow it down, mama. Okay, one quick shuffle. Okay, so we're gonna get Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle here. And we have the Vitea, number 50. So it says, the secret of happiness is consciously uniting with the best in you. So being very connected to your um, intuition, connected to your heart, leading with your heart, and you know having that um, connection with the divine as well. Okay, so we have two of these. Throws off my whole scheme here. <laughs> All right, we'll just kind of scoot them down. I don't even know if you could see them very well. On there, you can, but it helps for when I'm channeling the messages that are coming through for you. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Black Dolphin, number 45. Um, recognize which waves will carry you to your new horizon. So that's what I was talking about as far as um, really being able to see what's going on around you and know what's in alignment with you. So in that aspect, you have to slow things down and pause and ask for guidance sometimes. You know, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read the insert for this. And I also... Again, just trying to take a breath and calm this down. I just, I'm feeling like you've been really overwhelmed and navigating through a lot. It doesn't necessarily seem to be negative, um, but it can still be overwhelming. Even, you know, lots of positive things coming at you. It's still, it still can um, be overwhelming. So Number 50, um, intuition. In a love relationship, you will be able to work miracles because the half woman, half porpoise Vitea represents the unknown damsel. Not only will you meet a stranger, but someone you already know will want to know you more. Symbolic of high virtue, the patience of nature and returning to the rich subconscious, the Vitea intimates that you know your future and need only wait to enjoy watching something infinitely special unfold. You will be in high spirits and pleased with the way your life is going because everything is about to improve for you. You are entering a phase that dreams are made of, not only in love, but in personal ambitions too. So we're getting that energy is gaining momentum. Um, I mean, I felt like it's going to gain momentum but then suddenly just really take off and that is why it's like I'm literally was almost out of breath <laughs> trying to uh, get out the words that were coming through so I feel like you're going to be really um, guided and there's going to be a lot of messages coming through for you be mindful of your thoughts and what you know make sure that you're protecting yourself as well as um, tuning in to what is being you know revealed to you all right, so let's get a mermaid message to get a little more focus here. And we have patience. So yeah, I feel like it's just about, you know, taking that breath. And that is, 
you know, it's not about being stagnant. It's not about sitting still. It's about taking any time that you have to take that breath, get centered, connect, right? The bottom of the deck, we have acceptance. So there are things I feel like are going to, you know, be, you know, there's going to be like an acceptance of, you know what? Yep, that's not serving me. And I think it goes back to shedding the old and expressing your truth. Okay. And there may be someone coming to you expressing their truth. And it's like not something to fight about. If you feel you, your, your intuition will tell you if they really are expressing their truth and you have to be accepting of that. There's no, um, there's no really arguing with somebody when they're expressing their truth. As long as it's their truth. You don't need anybody coming and tell, telling you about yourself. <laughs> I'm just in that kind of way right now. All right, so let's see. Holy Spirit, what, how is this playing out for Scorpio? What is going on here? How is this playing out? <clears throat> So yeah, seven of earth, this is about patience, you know, knowing that you've, you know, done the hard work, um, but you can't dig up the seeds and check to see if they are sprouting. So it says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action and unnecessary worry. Don't let your, uh, you know, any kind of devil energy or um, anything come in to detour you at this time. Even if it seems like sudden slowdown, I feel like everything, the energy is uh, gaining momentum. Yes, but nothing set in stone. So just relax and go with the flow as much as you can. But also, you know, make sure that you're going in the direction of what you're trying to manifest here. All right. So this could be, I really feel like this could be in all facets of your life, whether it's career, relationships, spirituality, um, you know, anything. Health. Definitely see this could be health. Okay, so we have the three of fire. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term long -term plans. So I just see this fast-moving energy and this... Um, you know, this need to connect with it, align yourself with it, but also have the patience to know that you've already done the work. Both of these cards is you've done the work and you, you know, you will have the payoff. All right. So what's the challenge here for Scorpio? And that could be it. The patience is the challenge. Okay. And we have the 10 of air. So the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. I don't really see addiction here. There may be some of you that are dealing with that, but I think the addiction may be um, getting caught in your head, overthinking things. And, you know, getting caught in your head is not becoming of a Scorpio because you are deep. You are emotional. It's not about overthinking things. It's about being very much in line with that deep emotional attachment to what your passions and desires are. All right. So what is the, and I feel like that's why this card came out here. Uh, rediscover that it's, it's not, it's discover what brings you fire rediscovering. Because you may have been in a time where you've been very logical or trying to be. And it's about letting those things go. Letting that overthinking process. It, it can become an addiction. You know, and sometimes we feel like, oh, well, this is how we're preparing. Because it's like we've thought of every possible scenario. But it's bullshit. So, what is the advice from Spirit here? And we have the Six of Fire. So Libra also got that in this position. So there's definitely like a lot of people that are going through these energies that are kind of, um, I'm picturing it like those water slides where you come out and you go around this bowl and you might get tossed around a little bit, but eventually everything, I'm not saying things are going down the drain, but it's like you have to find the way in it the water, your emotion is what's going to finally bring you to the spot that's going to take you 
um, to the next thing and the, and you're having the victory, but man, sometimes you feel a little beat up afterwards, right? It's like you've been through it. It wasn't just handed to you. You've worked really hard. Um, and that's where I feel like a lot of people are, um, just because the beginning of this 2021 has been just all over the place. And I feel like we're going to get to a little bit, uh, more peaceful and productive. Productive is the key word. Productive time. It's not just about trying to hold on to your seat and maintain. It's really about being able to move forward, having victories, having, you know, being able to build a solid foundation instead of just trying to survive and figure out how to get through these times. All right. So what is the outcome here for Scorpio? And we have the four of water. It says missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibility. And I feel like um, this is what we're talking about here when you um, when you're asked to be patient or you're in any kind of time where you're left idle at all. It's like you will find something to do. Don't let yourself overthink. Don't keep your head down. Keep looking for those opportunities from the divine and you'll be fine. None of this is major, major energy. I do see this cycle of overthinking closing out so that you have something awesome in the future. And we have the fool at the bottom of the deck, uh, leap of faith, follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities. That's what we're talking about here with there is an opportunity coming that's going to take you in a new direction, but it's like you're in this spot of really looking in maybe the wrong direction or, um, you know, kind of feeling like everything's been going so crazy. You get a moment that's idle and you might not know what to do with yourself and miss, you know, seeing an opportunity right in front of you. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify. Why is this seven of earth here for Scorpio? And we have the 10 of wands. Okay, so this is hard. This is hard because there's a lot going on and it's like, you know, having to wait for divine timing or the laws of nature to take their course um, can be difficult. So, but there's, there's action to be taken, but there's also about, you know, getting guidance and not taking on, you know, others burdens, shedding the old. Okay, that's what I get here for you. There's something you can be doing while you wait is the main thing. All right. So this three of fire, why is this here for Scorpio? We have the two of pentacles. So I feel like there's, you know, take the time. There's something that's going to be changing for you. So get balanced, get focused on what, um, you know, what you're trying to manifest. Um, you know, don't juggle, be very clear. I don't like the idea of multitasking. I'm <laughs> completely against it. I've just learned over the years after many years in the corporate world, multitasking does not help you. So don't just do busy stuff. That's what I feel like this is here. It's like, you know, um, you know, look at me, I'm busy. That doesn't mean you're productive. And I was talking about being able to actually feel productive and like we're laying solid foundations finally. Um, after navigating quite a crazy beginning of the year, just the energies have been wacky. All right. So what is this 10 of air here for? And we have the seven of swords. You're, you know, when you're overthinking things, this is your own thoughts sabotaging you. That's what I see. And if you're caught up in your own thoughts and somebody else is sabotaging you or, uh, betraying you, you're not going to see it because you're too caught up in your own thoughts and you know that. So then if, even if there is somebody being dishonest with you, you will end up overthinking it and telling yourself that it's just, you're overthinking. You're just being paranoid, blah, blah, blah. So it's one or the other best thing is, is getting, you know, stop overthinking things. So then you're very clear when you see something like that in your environment. All right, so why is the six of fire here for Scorpio? Is that Mars energy really coming through? And we have the world. So yeah, it's like you. this is bringing you to a whole, um, 
another cycle in life, a new cycle of enlightenment and being able, you know, you have that fool at the bottom of the deck here. So you're completing a cycle. It's bringing you to a way better place. And it could be, you know, really um, seeing some dreams come true and then now making even bigger and better plans for the future. So why is this four of water here? And we have death. So death to the boredom, death to the discontentment, um, really moving on in a much more, <clears throat> what's the word, enchanted, what, like just seeing the wonder in life and being able, it's, you know, you see this circle here, that's you coming from the old cycle, the world the world cycle, it's, it is, you know, usually shown as some type of portal you're walking through into a new portal, into a new way of life. Okay. So that is the messages that came through that. So let's go ahead and get, <coughs> excuse me, you know, we have expressed your truth and I'm just having this tickle in my throat that won't stop. So I feel like somebody may be trying to cut you off. And I think that you just need to find a, t a calm space to really uh, say, you know, I have to speak what I have to say or allow somebody else to speak their truth without cutting them off. All right. That's just a message for some of you. Let's get some mystical wisdom for guidance. Holy Spirit, what's the guidance for Scorpio? <coughs> Excuse me. Confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. And we did talk about that. But we also talked about with the Crystal Keys that, you know, there may be something that triggers you or something that when you express your truth triggers somebody else. And it's going to reveal a lot about um either you or them or both of uh, both of you i feel like so and we have a uh, good fortune at the bottom of the deck invite magic in so definitely see that as alignment being very mindful pick your battles wisely but know that sometimes you do have to go through the confrontation even if you are triggered there is a lot that can be said i would just quickly give an example that um, you know, I didn't see it coming, but, um, something just triggered me and I like blew up and although it wasn't right, how I handled things, it, it revealed so much about fears that I had about, um, assumptions that my, my partner had. So, you know, it kind of triggered the, um, the expression of truth between us. So, um, it, that's, you know, just an example I'm, I'm feeling led to share with you. So we have the angel whispers. Let's get some messages to close this out. What advice do we have for Scorpio? Take time out for yourself. Definitely. So maybe that's what you're doing if you're, you know, in the seven of earth or three of fire energy. It's never idle. It's all, always about investing in yourself or supporting others or supporting, you know, your dreams. So we have your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. So there may have been definitely some things like this ten of air and the seven of swords. This coming out right here. There may have been a lot of terrible things happening behind your back you have to heal that in order to move forward because you'll expect that to happen in every scenario and you know when you close off because you know you're you're not trusting then you're not going to be able to fully experience love fully experience the law of attraction your dreams coming true because you don't trust others and we're not doing any of this stuff all alone in a world all right what else do we have you are being guided by unseen forces have faith all is well beautiful all right those are the messages that came through for you scorpio thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care